This will be the Wolfpack's first time at Nationals since a heartbreaking gold medal loss and injury time to Langara when TRU played host in 2008. This time they take a 13-game undefeated streak into the Nationals, the last 10 of the regular season and three wins in the playoffs to clinch the Pac West title. Girls have played so well this year and all the adversity we've had with broken noses and ACL injuries and concussions. They've worked hard so they deserve it and we're all very excited. In the Pac West playoffs, the Wolfpack were led by midfielder Alana Beckering. After scoring only twice in the regular season, Beckering had four goals in three playoff games. It was an energizing return to the postseason for the South Cam alumnus, who took the 2010 season off to contemplate whether her heart and mind, among other things, were still in the game. Well, during the season, I was getting a little uh, frustrated, I guess, with because I hadn't been scoring and I had so many opportunities and I, I told myself, don't worry, it'll come at a time that it's most needed. And I kept on trying to stay positive and I guess it finally did. In the PacWest semifinal, Beckering took a ball in the eye and had to leave the match. Then she came back to score the winning goal. She followed that with both goals and the Wolfpack's 2-1 overtime win over Okanagan in the gold medal game. I wasn't allowed to go on, but then I was determined to go back on, so I told Tom, hey, I'm fine, let's go. He's like, promise me? I'm like... Yeah, sure, I got promise. Lied to him, obviously, but um, I went to the hospital that night and they said that I had just like a scratch on my eye, but I still today can't see out of my left eye, like fully. So they're going to do some work and stuff when we get back from Quebec, but it's all good, I'm sure. So you're going to still play? Yes, of course. I would not miss this for the world. I'm the most excited kid in Canada, I think. <laughs> Defeat is a stranger to the Wolfpack. They haven't tasted it since the first game of the season and hope to keep the momentum going in Quebec City when they face the Atlantic champions from Nova Scotia in their first game. We're a team and if every individual works hard together and work for each other, then we're going to come out ahead as we have most of the season. So that's exactly what I'm looking for. Just go out, play for each other and play as a unit.